Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer from Keysight Technology. Today we're going to talk about testing products that are designed to be used around the world. For example, on our Keysight product, you can see on the back panel, it's designed to be used from 100 volts all the way up to 240 volts with 50 and 60 hertz. You'll also notice the line below it that it can run at 400 hertz. So the question is, why 400 hertz? So before we had these universal power supplies, we used to design products for individual regions. And then we would use something like this. This is a two to one travel transformer. So this weighs about eight to 10 pounds of solid iron. You can plug it in uh, to any of uh, the European voltages or Asia voltages, which are usually 220 to 230 volts. It's again, two to one. So on the other side, you have a North America style plug which would give you 110 volts to 115 volts, depending on the voltage you plugged it into. One of the interesting things about this is the transformer cannot um, change the frequency. So most European and Asia countries use 50 hertz, and so you'd have a 50 hertz AC signal coming out of the plug, which is slightly unusual, as usually in North America we use 60 hertz. So one of the few instructions that came with our travel transformer is that if your product makes a strange noise that you should go ahead and unplug your product. So good advice there. So the easiest way to test a product that's designed to be used around the world is to use an AC source. And for our demo today, I've brought a PC power supply and I've hooked it up to a load, some resistors and a light. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it into our AC source. Now from the front panel AC source, it's easy enough to enter a voltage, enter a frequency, and it will make 17 different measurements, all the different power measurements current, so you can pick the right fuses. But that's, that's a lot of numbers. So the easiest way to keep track of all this is to use an Excel spreadsheet. So what I've done is I've written in a simple Visual Basic program, and it's actually gonna step through common voltages and frequencies found around the world. So we'll go ahead and um, start that up. So I'm making a connection to the instrument. I'm going to go ahead and reset the instrument and put it into a known state. And then the Visual Basic program is going to read each of the voltages and frequency combinations. It's going to set the output for our AC source and then it's going to bring back the measurements, both the um, apparent power and also the, the real power along with power factor. And again, this is an example program, and you can go ahead and change it. So you could add current measurements. Uh, the product also does um, DC, so you could add AC and DC measurements if you chose to. A lot of flexibility in, in, in what you want to measure, but this is just an example. You know, if we were really testing, uh, you know, uh, doing some HQ testing on these power supplies, we'd probably have a, uh, 10 different ones. And since this is Excel, it's easy enough to save a spreadsheet for each of your power supplies and compare the results. The other thing is this is a, you know, a, a simple setup. Like you can repeat this. You could have this at the manufacturing site. So it's easy to compare results as well. Okay, so our program is finished. We've um, tested the power supply using voltages and frequencies around the world. And so we now have a good idea of, of how much power it consumes in the power factor. And those are the types of things that we would um, add to the label of our, of our power supply. So at the beginning of the video, I ask a question as to why our products are specified to run at 400 hertz. The reason for that is that some aircrafts actually use 400 hertz AC power. So the products that are specified to run at 400 hertz can actually be used on aircraft with their 400 hertz power. So a quick example of using an AC source to test products that are designed to be used around the world. Thanks for watching.